Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So today we are back with the daily lead code challenge problem, and that's poor pigs. This time the problem is a hard one. That's lead code hard four fifty eight. So before beginning, I'd like to request you all to please, please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any queries regarding any interview experience or anything. Then do let me know. Many people approach me on LinkedIn asking me for referrals and uh, about my interview experience in Ticket as well as Google. So that's what I found out. So we'll be sharing that very soon and have actually referred many people for the same position. And if you guys require the same, then do connect with me on LinkedIn as well. I have shared my links and. If you want, please connect on the Telegram channel too because uh, they I'll be helping you guys with some, uh, you can say job profiles and whatever that comes up to me that's beneficial to you people. I actually share it up, so it's good if you get connected because getting connected will help each and every one. Okay, now let's get back to the question and see what the question says. The question says we have. Buckets. Okay, so there's a input that says buckets. So these buckets are the buckets of liquid, where exactly one of the bucket is poisonous. So out of n buckets, you will get one poisonous bucket. Now, to figure out which one is the poisonous, you need some number of poor pigs. Okay, to test the liquid and see whether they die or not. Now, unfortunately, what you have, you have a time limit of minutes to test, and you have to determine within this time limit which of the particular bucket is poisonous. Now, there are few things that have been given. Uh, the procedure you will follow. The procedure says choose some live pigs. Okay, so you cannot take a pig that's all dead. That's something uh, self-understood. For each pig, choose which bucket to feed. Now, out of n buckets, you have to choose. So, from zero to n minus one, you need to decide which one to choose. The pig will consume all the chosen buckets and simultaneously, sorry, simultaneously, and will take no time. So that means, let's say for first pig, it took some m time to test. That's observation time, and still the time to test, the overall time to test is left. So the pig can move up to other ones now. Wait for the time to die minutes, and you will not feed the other pig during this time. Okay. Now, after the minutes to die, what is the condition that happens? Like, if any pig has been fed a poisonous bucket, will die. Otherwise, what you do, they'll test the other one. Repeat this process until you run out of time. That means you have to consume the whole thing now. Given buckets, minutes to test and min, uh, minutes to die, minutes to test. Return the minimum number of pigs needed to figure out which bucket is poisonous within the allotted time. So that's what we need to. Do. So we have gone through the solution. Oh, sorry, gone through the question. Now comes few things what we must keep in mind before beginning our approach. Okay. So there are few things that were told to us that a pig is allowed to drink simultaneously as many buckets as the person would like, but keeping a thing that we have been told is that feeding will take no time, so that means zero time. Then, once a pig once a pig has been fed, okay, there needs some time. That means the minutes. To die time is required, so that's somewhere you can see kind of a cooling period we have. So this is the time after feeding the bird. Uh, the pig needs to be left free. Okay. Then the third thing they said, if there is any bucket, okay, that can be sampled an infinite number of times. So that means. Uh, a single bucket can be fed by any number of pigs. It's not specified. Okay, this is what said. Now, see, we have minutes to test. I'm just writing minutes to test and minutes to die. These are the things that tell us. So, to specify how much time can or how many times a pig can eat or feed. So, for that, 
actual condition would be you can say test or result anything that would be minutes to test upon minutes to die so this is what we are getting so for any round you will have this condition now keeping in mind we said a person or a pig could die so for that particular situation what could happen the person or the pig won't wait for this whole time so the actual testing will be greater than 1 because as said there is exactly one pig required. So uh, please make sure about this situation what is said is. For testing it's minute to test upon minutes to die plus 1. Why 1 because of that exactly 1 points this buckets. Now, there can be many cases coming up to the fact. So, to generalize this, we know that the number of tests that could happen is this. Now, what could be the condition that comes up? Let's say if T or this test was 1. Okay, if this test was 1, then number of rounds would be 1. That means you have... 5 buckets or 4 buckets both will work for the same 15 minutes to die 15 minutes to test for this case so if you have 4 buckets then obviously what you could do is and you have 15 minutes to test so a first person could come here could go here and then the third one could come here similarly this goes on so obviously this is a format that would be required. So this is the same thing. So you know that the testing provision would require this. Now for the same condition if you could see for the 4 that is a 2 power x. Right. So that's what the power is 2. 2 is required for our situation. That's what a log based situation comes up with. So to find the answer what we will be doing is we will find math dot c okay of log it's actually math dot log of buckets by log of this test this is what is required so for our situation if we find log of 4 upon log of 1 or this was actually if you take out 2 so these situations come out so log of 2 is 2 log 2 this gives up 2 is your answer so the same way this is purely a mathematical based question you don't have to apply any data structure here if you know how to approach the problem if you have read it properly and if you know how to go this is actually a hard question because it requires a lot of brainstorming. Okay. Now, see, this is test. This took minutes to test on minutes to die. We placed a counter here. Now, you can either write all of this. Okay. Or you can simply write one thing that's return in math dot c sorry bracket math dot log that was buckets by math dot log is t this would also give you the same answer and this would also give you the same answer here what we are doing the same thing instead of finding out the seal and log we are avoiding that log and directly finding it out that for the total for how much time that we are taking, we are running this loop over and over and the total time is required. And the total time will check whether it's total buckets will check if it's less than the total buckets and the count will give you the count of the piece. Now talking about the time complexity, as you know we are doing nothing, just a simple math. So time complexity is order of 1 as well as the auxiliary free space is also order of 1 as we are not requiring any specific extra space so this is one of the best things uh, you must have seen a very optimized solution there's nothing that has to be done 
okay i guess this is clear if in case if anything that's missing out then do let me know i'll be there to help you out thank you